everybody, it's Nintobi, and welcome back to this game. I forgot what it's called. No, it's called the Game Dev Tycoon. So, yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm recording this on the same day because um, I'm going to my grandmother's house tomorrow, so I have to um, pre-record some episodes. So, the recently released TES... Oh, yeah, in the last episode, we made the game that was 8.5... Um, got 8.5 views. I mean, the rating... Not views. What the heck? Okay, <laughs> how do you get 8.5 views? Um, the recently released TES Home Console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. Sale numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Wow. One customer says, "I love the games that come with the TES, and playing with the controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard." Hmm. Well, since we have two. 138,000k. Oh man. It's not 38,000 anymore. It's 30. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna research the topic, new topic. Let's see. Wild West. Mm -hmm. Wild West sounds like it would be make a good game. So, Oh, I'm gonna try a Wild West RPG on the NES. That sounds like it would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, so develop Wild West. Okay, so we're gonna make it an RPG on the TES. Yes. All right, I got a license for eighty thousand. All right. Game number four is going to be called, um, what should we call it? The Wild West, um, hmm. Salon Raiders. I don't know. Okay. So, 2D version one. We got this. We're going to make good game this time um story and quest are up gameplay is gonna be like there and engine is be down here all right so this is gonna be good um yeah so we got two uploads a day guys <laughs> i don't even know all right dialogues level design is right here and artificial intelligence down here here. All right, level design. Wait. Yeah, level design. Yeah. Okay. We got it. So, let's see what we get. I hope it's a good game. I hope we made the right choices and made I want to get rich. We're kind of rich right now, but we could be even more rich. Look. The world design. Oh, world design. Yeah, for RPGs, world design is like be up here maybe like right in the middle kind of all right sound can be like right here all right so let's actually graphics can go down here and yeah right there that's that's good i think i hope all right oh we got 47 research points we need to do more stuff with them actually i think it's 50 to get a custom game engine which really helps in the long run. All right, recent studies suggest that the increase in variety of game devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others create cater for more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact new research available target audience yeah so target audience is really good too because it's like rated e for everyone or t for, for teen and m for mature um don't forget creating um custom game engines this will improve your games a lot you can create your custom engine through the action menu once you research custom game engine, or custom engine. Um, Alright, three, two, one, 
go. 16 design points. Not bad. That's a new record. Not a new record for technology, though, but we'll see what we got. Engine level up. Uh, story and quest level up. Level up for dialogues. Level up for level design. Artificial intelligence. World design. Wow, sound. And then Tobias. I level up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I do differently now, but I leveled up in some way. So, the first reviews for our newly released game, Saloon Raiders, came in. Nice. Let's see. Oh, I see tens. I see tens. I see sevens. Nice experience, Star Games. Nice experience. Um, I said experiments. Good game, game in informed gamer. Ooh, eight. Wild West and RPG is a great combination. And seven, the focus on graphics served this game very well. Not too bad, 7.25. That's good. Not as good as um, the last game we made, but what was the last game called? Oh, Life of a Hobo. Um, following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. Hmm, that is pretty cool. They should do that. But, I don't care. They probably aren't going to be as successful as Ninvento. Considering the, um, considering that the company I am, that is parodying that is what my channel is based on. So yeah. Vina, you can go suck it. I just burned you. Okay, today the Vina has confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console that announced the Master V. The company claims <laughs> that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. Well, is it your ego super high? Is it more technological? than the TES. That is what we say, because it is good. Wait, what, did, what am I doing? Okay, generate game report. Let's see the Saloon Raiders. Let's see what we did right. We did a lot of things right. Saloon Raiders is now off the market. It sold 29,086 units, set, generating 203,000 623 in sales. That is pretty good. Alright. Okay, we're seven minutes in. Actually, I should put this right here. Doesn't matter, though. Okay. Our post-release analysis of a Saloon Raiders is complete, and we've got the following results. Wild West and RPG is a great combination. Dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. That is good. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. See what we got to do. Alright. Uh, now we can... Game history. We got research and we can find contract work. But we do not need to do that right now. Because we are doing pretty alright. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and research. Target audience. We'll go ahead and do that. That was 30k. And a few research points, but it's pretty good. We did a good job with it, though. So, um, you have successfully researched target audience. Nice. That's pretty good. All right. Um, research. Um, yeah, we don't have enough research points for custom game engine right now. Let's see what we got. Ninja. All right. Well, actually, we're gonna go with transport because. We're gonna make a transport. Wait, wait, but we've made a lot of simulation games so far. Yeah, so we're not gonna do a simulation right now. We already did a simulation. Wait, we can do a transport. No, that would. There's a racing topic too. I think racing action would be good for that. But transport is like sounds like simulation to me. So we're gonna develop a new game. Uh, we're gonna call. Uh, we're gonna go with. Hmm. We're gonna go with... Yeah, well, why not make a dance game for the... Um... Oh, wait. <laughs> dance. Da dance. Hmm. 
dance action for the TES. Um, it's for. Let's go with. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Young. Wait, no, 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 no. Um. Strip for money. <laughs> Exotic dancing in the strip for money game. That is, that is my idea. That will sell really well with the mature perverts. So, <laughs> um, this will go down here, and gameplay will be me about here. So, yeah, I think this game's gonna sell regardless of its reviews. By the title, guys, money's gonna be rolling in. Mhm. Mm Level design. That'll go there. Dialogues go over, like right there. Um, I don't know. Would that be action though? <laughs> like stripping? I guess. There's action involved. There's um, a little touchy feeling, feeling going on. That's an action. So yeah, I would say it's action. <laughs> World design um, goes down here. Graphics go, yeah, graphics goes in the middle and sound goes here. You want to hear people making it rain. You want to hear the queef. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter from Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Yeah, sure. Great. Thank you for your time. We pu we will publish this interview next week. Next week. Nice. Next week isn't too far away. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Nintopia Incorporated. According to the interview, the company is working on the f its first game targeted at mature players. Tobias, owner and CEO of Nintobi Incorporated said, We think that players are looking for a more mature content in games and are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Yeah. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Oh, it is hyped at 6. There are men. Ready to see some boobies. We are ready for this. Okay, three, two, one. Sometimes when I do the wait thing, oh, see, I, I I thought I clicked finish. Sometimes when I do the wait thing and then click finish, like a bug will come in like right before I click finish and it doesn't give me time to react and it just, I leave the game with a bug and that's not fun. We're getting, yeah. We got, we didn't level up in anything, but we got points in. The first review for a newly released game, Strip for Money, came in. Mm. Let's see how it does. Oh, it's not, ooh. I've seen better. Hmm. Falls a bit short. Inform Gamer. Ooh, three disappointing. Game Hero. Huh. Oh. Four, not bad, not good, all games. Well, it's going to sell regardless, so let's keep going. Oh. Minus 23 fans. Guys, you didn't like the boobies. Well, those are either girlfriend fans or gay fans. Because nobody does not like boobies. That just likes girls. There is no way you can resist the boobies. No way at all. Um, go ahead and research. Um, do we have it? No, we don't have enough research points for new or game engine. Generate game report. Let's see what we did. Let's see what we did wrong. New research available casual games. Hmm. That we'll have to do that in the future, but not yet. Recent market data shows that the Govador 64. 
seems to be slowly losing market share against the other PC manufacturers. Hmm. In an unofficial, uh, in an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher-priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Huh. Interesting. A new PC would come along. Our post-release analysis for Strip for Money is complete, and we've got the following results. Dance and Action. Well, we got four of them. Dance and Action is a bad combination. Hmm. Story and quest seems to be not important for this type of game, which I did. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game, which I think I did. Um, platform uh, audience match TES slash mature terrible. Yeah, I knew that. It's it's Nintendo. I mean, but back then it wasn't really known yet, like what it was. I mean, like Conquered Bad Fur Day came out on the N64, and that was like the best game ever. But I never finished that game yet. I might do a let's play of it in the future. Strip for Money is now out the market. It sold 5,269 units, uh, generating 36,904 in sales. Alright, so, I think now, hmm, we don't need contract work still. Research, uh, game history. No, we don't need game history. We'll go with develop new game, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see if we can make a... Okay, we're gonna make a horror... Um, horror... Hmm. Action. For PC... Yeah, action. No. Action for the PC. Let's try that out. Um... Kill the zombie. That's good enough. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's all caps because this is like a super horror game. All right, engine, yeah. Gameplay can be a bit out here. Yeah, gameplay can be up a bit. Story and quest, go bye-bye. <sighs> Let's do it. Today, Nintendo has announced that they will be introducing a portable gaming device called the GameLink. The device comes with chargeable, char changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Yay. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is unpowered, but given the low cost and ex excellent portability, it might find a huge following. The GameLink is said to hit the shelves next month. Well, that's awesome. I cannot wait to bring um shoot them ducks on the go all right right there boom that's good all right design and technology is coming it's pretty flat uh graphics can go here because you want to see the zombies but you don't want that World design is like down there. There we go. I'm a win. I'm gonna get lots of monies. Finish. Right after we get the game report going. I mean, right after we get the reviews. Today, the new game platform, Gameling by Ninvento, has been released. So, right after these reviews we are going to end the episode because we are out of time for this episode so let's see these reviews real quick 
first reviews for our newly released game, Kill the Zombie, came in. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. 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 Nine. Great. Star Games. Oh. Uh, eight. Very good. Informed Gamer. Oh, jeez. Uh, nine. One of the best. And. Eight. Played it for days. It's the same pattern we had last time, but that is okay. Well, not last time, but the la the, the our best one. But that is okay because that's still great. So, leaving this episode off on a high note. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hold on, I gotta close this. Thank you guys for watching this video. I don't want to see any of the things rolling yet. Actually, look, yeah, let's look at the first week real quick. Ooh. Wow, 18,000 in the first week. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment. And um, Twitter links in the description. And I mean, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.